Hi Chris, welcome to Albion TV. Um, you've had quite an introduction to Plymouth Albion, haven't you? Uh, how many tries have you scored this season so far, friendly and, and um, competition? Oh, in all games so far, I, um, I think it's about 10 or ten. 8. No, yeah, it's around it's between 8 and 10. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of not being counting, don't, don't, don't want to focus too much on that because uh, otherwise I start getting carried away with it. Yeah, so it's fair to say you're settling into life at Albion pretty well. Yeah, yeah, really enjoying it here. Um, everyone's kind of now got the, the rope side of things starting to flow well, and um, the kind of social and other side of things are all are all going really well. Living, living, etc. Things like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, quick look back at last week's game away at Jersey. Uh, good victory on the road. Yeah, really good victory. One that we really wanted. Um, a couple of sort of people who kind of downplayed our first victory. Um, when we played at Sandley Park and um, we did feel that that was kind of right and wanted to make sure that we backed up that first victory with another one and, yeah. and, and felt that we kind of needed to do, um, do it to kind of to prove to ourselves as well after a couple of poor, poor performances in the um, league. Yeah, and now looking back at, you've been away to Sterling and Jersey, you've been flying to those games. Um, is it the first time you've ever flown to play rugby? It's not. I've done um, a few away trips um, where sort of using a plane and, and flying. I think Sterling was the first time I've flown on the day of a game, um, which was taxing, but I think everyone dealt with it really well. Yeah. Uh, we were kind of, it was all set up to try and make sure that we could recover as best as possible before the game and, and actually play to kind of the best we could. Um, and yeah, we came out with a win, which was exactly what we wanted. Yeah. And they're looking ahead to Bristol, uh, and with the greatest respect to the other sides we've played this season, biggest game in this uh, biggest game in the season so far. Um, I think yeah, I think it'll be sort of one of the most difficult so far. Um, we've also played some quality sides already, but Bristol have got a big squad, a lot of very good good players, um, and it will be a test. We'll. We're still going out there aiming to win and, and try and put on a bit of a show. Um, but also, yeah, we've got to make sure that we are, are at the top of our game to compete with them and, and, and try and get that win out there. Yeah, and uh, last question. In the uh, away trips, who do you least want to room with and why? <laughs> Most guys are fine. There's a couple, but um, I've, I've tried to probably avoid Tommy Bowen because he's... He's known for a couple of smelly pieces of clothing in, um, in the bag that are normally left there for a week or two. <laughs> okay, so stay away from Tommy Byrne. Yeah, only right. his bag, only his bag. All right, all right. Thank you very much, Chris. Hi, Max. Welcome to Albion TV. Uh, and welcome to Plymouth Albion. Two weeks, two starts and two victories on the road. Um, and a try as well. Um, did you expect that sort of start? Uh, nah, everyone hopes for a try on their debut, but um, nah, it's been been good uh, you know meeting all the boys and you know playing as well so it's a good start so far yeah good and um, looking back at the last three games um, good wins in the cup set the team up nicely for uh, the games against Jersey and Bristol this week what can we expect from Bristol do you think um, I know they're you know they've got a good set piece so you know, there's a big emphasis on our on our pack to stand up and match them and I think you know these last couple of weeks we've, we've been showing that we can do that um, and then obviously they're a big tough bunch as well, so it should be a great game. Yeah. Now, as many people know, you um, you signed from Saracens. Um, tell us about your season so far over there. Um, been struggling, well, not struggling. I wouldn't say struggling. I've had an unlucky run of injuries pre-season. Yeah. Um, I had shin splints, so I couldn't really run that much. And then um, my first game back against, um, I think it was London Irish. Yeah. Um, Pop my ribs, and then played the next week with uh, and against Quins and did my ribs again. So, but you know they're holding up well, and yeah. you know, <laughs> so it's all good. Um, now it's the first front rower we've had on Albion TV. Um, what do you think of the new scrum laws, and how are you getting on with them? I think they play into our hands. Um, you know, we're not the biggest of packs, but that the new laws have an emphasis on the. Um, on your technique, yeah, and you know, from what I've seen and from what we've been doing, you know, we, everyone in that forward setup has got you know great technique, and you know, yeah. it's just about using it all together and being on the same page. Cool. 
Um, and now a question from Twitter. Um, what do your tattoo means? And do you have any other tattoos other than your, on your arm? Um, my tattoo means, there's a, there's a lot of meaning behind it. It's about um, family and, and the Great and the World War. Um, so I have like the, the Eagle, Morse code machine. I've got a little script here. Um, yeah. And then we've got the Victoria Cross here. We've got eight poppies. Okay. Um, and then I've got Spitfire going up here. I've got a London scene around the back. Nice. Um, so that took time doing that. Yeah, um, how long did that take in the chair? I did about 26 hours. Oh. So it was a good, <laughs> good bit of pain. But, yeah. um, and then I've got another tattoo on my leg as well. Okay, that's cool. all. Right, brilliant. Thank you very much, Max. Thank you. Cheers. cheers.